um hello everybody and in this video i actually teach you how to link uh one script file to another script file so i created this known as page uh page one application so we can just open it there's nothing special in it just basic normal i think it's just a template as per se it just has a button okay i don't know why it's taking time yeah it has a button and the button does nothing the the source code is just this nothing special just a light theme the create layout the button itself which has a function which will lead us to the next page and it has a set on touch next which is this one nothing special so now we can just create the page using this icon just down here to create a new script and you can call it page two just that the moment you create page two it will appear here like here's our page one here's our page two but there's a trick when you're creating page two instead of actually using the same syntax that we used when creating page one uh note that every time when you run a dread script up the last executed code is the the last one is the on start so this is the last code that runs yeah this is the last running code so yeah let's go back to page two and then page two instead of creating a normal function like the way we use the on start we actually create an object not necessarily any object but to create an object using the uh, function constructor or yeah function constructor and how do you create the function constructor well we give it the similar name as the function but instead of giving it an actual function name well you can just give it yeah you can actually just give it any function name no need for parameters because in this case i actually don't want to use any parameters and now we cannot create our our we cannot create our watches our our layout our layout in the same way as we created this layout let's just copy so that we don't spend much time let's just copy everything mm -hmm. copy everything 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 okay copy 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 where's copy okay copy then we paste it in the page too we paste it there we can just remove some things like example okay i'll leave this button but in but here's the trick part because this is an object uh you can use the var keyword that means that you will scope everything like for example this light the moment you just put a var keyword it will be locally scoped that means it will only be within this function and it won't appear as a global scope which will affect this light so it's like it's a different kind of light but it's like uh, a light within within a house but yeah i think that's the best example okay it's like um uh, putting a light in a particular room and there's this light which covers the whole house now this is the in this one this one is just globally scoped and then the other one is just local scope that's why we're using the vacuum word please don't forget this is actually an object so it's the vacuum word it's, it's within this same object nowhere else it just affects this object so you put the vacuum word here here but if you don't use the vacuum word you can just use different names and then the set on touch yes um because it's an object so i have to use the this keyword when we're calling a function and um, when we're calling a set on touch or something like that we actually have to use the this keyword because it's telling us like it only works on this function and we can just remove this part i'll explain why we're removing it we're removing it and last but not least we can now make a function starting with this don't forget this is actually a, an object using a function constructor if you don't know about function construction just check out videos and other um, javascript videos then they explain how it works so we can just put this function as is visible we'll create a method actually and then we'll call it is visible and as you heard me i said it, a method not a function a method and then the method what it will do is that it will get this layout and show it oh sorry i actually have to put show but you can name it anything even it's visible it's fine but just to make it more sensible let's use this and then lay dot show so it will show this layout but first like you remember i removed that add up right i copied it I, it was added to the app so you can now use the lay dot add lay dot add lay dot add Wait, it's actually add app dot add layout then the name of the layout was okay in other words actually don't even need this like just this alone will actually make it work so just this alone and then now what you can do on the first page is that you can use this other method provided by dread script as soon as uh load java load script 
which will load the page our page what page number is it so it's page two which will load our page two page two dot js or oh, in one last thing like i just want to make a uh, like a difference here like for this one i want to give it a background for this day it's a set back color back color to uh ff bf oh, oh. I hope it's nice color. All right, and yeah, we've loaded the script. After we load it, now we can now because it's a construct function. That means we can uh, make an instant of it. So how do you make an instant? Well, seriously, guys. Okay, this involves Java. One line. Uh, make instant. Make. Make inst. Okay, now making an inst. We give it any name but for me because i want it to have this name page two so we'll call that function using the new keyword uh what what was this name okay it was also called page it was actually called page so let's just give it a different yeah this one it's called page we call the page in the moment you call the page that means that every function that belongs to the page actually works in here so yeah that's how it is hope it's still page yeah it's page okay so if you're lost please do text me inbox um i'll send you the source code so that you can know what i'm actually doing and in the now on next right this one now we hide this this layout this current layout the global layout which actually is all over the app uh we now hide it to use the set dot gone and then remember like we in here we've already we've already made an instant that means that every thing that is in here is, uh, is actually now open to the first page or because of the load script which yeah or because of the load script that means every functionality is now open to this script page or page one as you say so now we can now use the the page dot show show and the page dot show it's actually this function here like the this to show this meaning the page name like the instant as they say or yeah the actual object or the instant of that object so that's the one that we're working on and then to show the layout which is in here hope you guys this is making sense so now we can run this up then when you run it click on next page oh yeah oh sorry guys like i uh, i made a mistake it's actually called page two not page like the instant is actually called page two it's actually here and the other thing that i forgot you guys it's here like uh, there's this set and touch which which has the next functionality right let's just change this and let's give it a different name like okay new page create new page and let's just create this this button click which is this dot next this dot next which is also a method this then this all right then we just show a pop up like hey i'm second page show pop up hello i am the second page hello okay hello great creatures okay that's that so now we can just run this up um okay let me just before i run this up let me just show you some things like yes we load the page script which is this one we loaded it then we uh made an instant of it and then we work on the instant which is actually the actual thing in this application and the and as you can see this one doesn't have a vacuum word reason being is because i want it to be global that means it can also be like anywhere it actually has a global scope but you guys uh scope is actually important when you're working with trade script like javascript scope it's very important because that's the only way you can understand why here the why here there's this name and this name is not actually affecting this name the new with the vacuum sorry this vacuum so we can just run the app okay when you run the app we click on next page it actually goes to the next page and then the next page actually tells us oh hello there's skip as you can see they're actually two different pages because here we, okay like, to prove like this is a different page page two is actually a different page what you can do is that instead of using a button we'll use something different instead of using a button let's use maybe text we we'll actually create a text yeah let's see the text so that you see that this is actually a different page a text in the moment you run this 
it's not a text nothing else it's a text which just shows this it's just a text which you can also okay let's yeah it's just a text like okay let's make it something so that you guys can actually believe that this thing is actually working let's turn it into an edit text yeah edit 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 create i think it's text edit or something like create text edit yeah let's make it into a, a, a text edit so that you guys can actually know and here's our text edit see so it actually works you guys it actually works so that's how you link it to the next page thank you very much